Great work, Gord. You kept the Quam's device away from the Savard guys. And, while you were away, we've discovered what the troopers were doing with this solar material. Go ahead, Ethan. Black Mesa's perimeter defenses are impervious to ground and air attack, especially one of this magnitude. These defenses were not compromised by direct attack. Okay, then. So how did they get inside? By circumventing the whole system. Small strike teams teleported into strategic areas within Black Mesa. Once inside, they enacted a superbly organized schedule. Security systems were disabled, the transportation system commanded, personnel sequestered, etc. Teleported? How did they pull that off? The Shabad guys must have built their own dimensional phase transport system. That's the only explanation that fits. All they really needed was a tellurium fluoride crystal. Which is small enough to smuggle out. The troopers knew that once they invaded Black Mesa, the odds of removing anything from the compound via conventional transportation were slim, due to the aforementioned perimeter defences which would be alerted and pointed inward by that time. Did they use their transport device to escape? No, they used ours. All of their troopers who survived the attack eventually ended up in the lander lab, including a truckload of renewal xenomorph specimens that was driven a short distance from Sector E. It depends that their device is one way only, at least at present. They had to rely on the teleport machine in the Lambda lab to return themselves and their stolen cargo to their intended destination. I've managed to triangulate their destination from the residual energy signatures. All items and personnel were sent here, a small island off the coast of Norway. Norway? The Schwarzkast home base? Almost certainly. The reviewed old satellite reconnaissance photo. But nothing stands out. More than likely, they are hidden as a North Sea oil supply base, with underground facilities. Fine. Let the armed forces take it from here. They've got the firepower to handle their puny mercenary forces. Agreed. We've done all we can from this point. Except for the Quam's device, we must destroy this working sample to prevent it from being misused. I'm afraid I can't allow that to happen, Lucas. The Quam's device is needed elsewhere. What did you say? What do you mean, elsewhere? Sorry guys, just following orders. <clears throat> what the hell just happened here? Joey's part of their group too? Apparently the Shabbat guys influence. Penetrated further than we understood. This is wrecked. He could have let Newell kill me. Why wait till now to betray us all? You'll get your chance to find out, Gordon. He definitely transported himself and the Quam's device to the island location. We must get that Quam's device back. It cannot remain with the survive guys, nor can our military have it. Time for another trip, huh? Okay, I'll get my gear. Ethan, is there a relatively isolated area of the island to send me to? It would be best if I didn't make a grand entrance. Even you have to send me on a one-way transmission. Yes, Gordon. The eastern side of the island has a small residential community. Probably for the civilian population. I can drop you in there. Great. That will at least preserve the element of surprise. If this truly is a Shabbat guy's base, Gordon, we will be in for an exceedingly difficult time. We know as they have purchased surplus military hardware from the Soviets. Expect to encounter heavy resistance. Sounds just like another day at the office anymore. Time to go. Good luck, Gordon.
Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine administered. Detected. 